Hey, it's Mike. Let's talk about Reaper. In today's episode, I'd like to show you how to import video into Reaper for the purposes of overdubbing. Now, admittedly, this may not seem that useful on the surface, but this past week, I stumbled across a video on Reddit by user Zach Albetta, where he showed himself playing drums. In this particular video, he was playing drums for a church service, and as I listened to it, I couldn't help but wonder what this song would sound like as a metal song. There's a link in the description for the original video. Let's check out a piece of that video. We'll get started with a blank Reaper project. A prerequisite for working with video in Reaper is that you do need to have VLC installed. I'll leave a link in the description for that as well. Now I do have to caution you on how you obtain videos for doing this. There's plenty of screen capture utilities out there that should do the job, but be sure to comply with whatever laws may exist in your country regarding that topic, and also be sure to request the permission of the original poster if you intend to use it publicly. Zach has given me his permission to use his video for this tutorial. Now with Reaper open, I'll start by opening up my file manager where I've already got the file downloaded from Reddit. I'll drag this into Reaper and allow it to build the peaks and copy the file into the project. And we can see that we've got the track imported now. Let's take a look. Or I suppose I should say take a listen. It seems we can't see the video. Go to the view menu. And in the third section down underneath transport, there's video. This will open up a video player in Reaper. Now let's try. All right, now we can see and hear Zach playing the drums. Once you've got the video imported, it's really as simple as adding tracks and overdubbing whatever audio you'd like. I'll double click in the track control panel to add a track, give it a name, and let's load up an amp sim. Today I'll be using Bulldog from Audio Assault. Now since we want to make this a metal song, I think I want to add a bit more gain. I know that this amp and my guitar are a little bit bass heavy, so I'll reduce some bass, add some treble, reduce the depth, and let's go into the stomp section and add a tube screamer just to shave a little bit more low end off of that. Since this is just for demonstration, I won't worry too much about how it actually sounds. All right, let's grab a guitar and see if we can make a metal track out of this. I'll make sure that the correct input for my guitar is armed. And I'll also turn on record monitoring. Let's make sure we've got some sound here. Let's see what we can come up with. That was fun, let's try adding a double track for it. Now that we've got our tracks recorded, we can mix this to taste and export it as either an audio file or a video file. 
Once you're happy with what you've got, to render your video, go to File, Render, and in your render settings, just be sure to change the format to video instead of one of your normal audio formats, find the location that you'd like to export to, and render. As I said before, this may not be quite as useful in your typical project, but it's still something fun to do. I hope this helps. If you like the content you're seeing, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And you can support the channel further by clicking the Buy Me A Coffee or the Patreon link below. I like coffee. Also, check the link in the description to join our Discord server and engage with other Reaper users. You watched all the way to the end and I'm not even going to do anything funny this week.